Welcome back to Megazoids Out, the Pico Pocket. It's a fun little gadget uh, based on the Pico Pad. Ten frames a second. It's not the best, but uh, it does video. Oops. It's very difficult to uh, compress the videos, but uh, worth it. And then there's loads of. Um, Little bits to mess around with, including a Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Well, I mean, I added these, but uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulators, which are the Game Boy one is playable. Well, they're both playable, but there's a lot of screen tear on the Game Boy Color. It's uh, can't quite uh, can't quite manage it. This is all temporary at the moment. Uh, just needs a case which is going to be retro themed. I want something that looks basically like it was made in the 80s. That's what I'm after. You'll see the screen tearing on this. But it's playable. Just don't die straight away. You see this way. See the screen tear there. So this junkyard is the first version of the Pico Pocket, which is my take on the Pico Pad. Basically, I didn't want to just go out and buy a Pico Pad. The original Pico Pad was a kit, which would have been okay, but they're not available now. So you can only thing you can buy is the Pico Pad Pro, which I still think is a, is a great little console. I mean, I'm not knocking it. It's just for me. Uh, the fun is building it. So I think uh, it's a great little console. Uh, I had a lot of fun uh, playing around with it as well. So, uh, you know, they are they are worth buying. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make my own. And uh, everything did function correctly, even though it looks like a complete mess. It did uh, it was 100% working, apart from uh, as I had to do this bodge on the screen. The only thing I didn't like was the speaker. It's very, you know, it's, what do you expect from a tiny little thing like this? It's uh, very tinny, had some noise on it, which is the most annoying thing. It had some noise on there, like I thought it was the audio circuit. It was actually just the speaker. Um, so I wanted to do a revision for the speaker, different speaker anyway. And then I have to obviously change the orientation of the speaker, of the uh, screen, sorry. So I was thinking of adding a, an amp, proper amp, rather than this PNP, or NPN, sorry, transistor, and maybe having a little slide. I got these little sliders for audio uh, volume control. Uh, but I didn't go with it in the end because the speaker is, the sound is about right. It's not hugely loud, it's not massively loud, but it's just, it's okay for me. And there's also a software um, speaker control, volume control rather. So this is good enough, you know, plus I'm running out of space on this thing to add, you know, these extra components would have been difficult. So it's all based on this, which is the, this is the only sort of hardware documentation there is, which is just a PDF online for the Pico pad, which is good enough for me. I mean, uh, just had to redo the whole thing and change it all to surface mount. I haven't actually made any other changes there. I mean, I was hoping I could put on the 
the new Pico 2 on there. Because, you know, Raspberry Pi was saying it's backwards compatible, had the same pinouts, I thought you could just, it would be the same sort of, um, same sort of deal as the, the Zero and the Zero 2, where you could just interchange them, but uh, slap one on there and it did, did nothing. Well, it did something. Uh, it had power to it, but uh, nothing on the screen anyway. Um, a bit disappointing that. So, yeah, I just, uh, this does work with the 2040, but not the, um, the new 2350. Anyway, yeah, the circuit's not too complicated at all, really. It's, uh, you've just got your Pico 2040, RP2040, TP56, sorry, 4056 for the charging. Got a couple of LEDs there for charge and full. Got a couple more LEDs here. One's for indicating reading from the SD card. The other one's a user um, user enabled LED. Uh, you got your speaker, a little MPN transistor. Uh, there's a couple of sh shock key diodes, and that's about it. Really, some buttons, and that's it. Um, so yeah, nice and nice and simple, really. Not too complicated. So yeah, my second version, which I haven't put together yet, is um, very similar. There's just a five millimeter difference in height. So not much at all, really. I just went for a black PCB, not because I was trying to look dangerous, but uh, just went for a black PCB because I was worried about bouncing light, you know, and you get a, I didn't want to get a green tinge on it. That's how fussy I am. Um, but yeah, I've tuned and changed a few things, like the orientation of the LEDs now down the middle um, to cut out for the speaker there. I've gone for a proper connector for the battery, um, changed some mounting holes. Uh, it's very similar. I mean, it's, you know, just a, just a basic, almost a reverse, really. And uh, yeah, let's put this together and see what happens. Base, 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 base
Yeah, cool little gadget. I mean, I love messing around with all the uh, all the stuff that's been developed for it. And I forgot my name of the guy that did most of this, but I will um, have a link in the description to his to to both the um, Pico Pad and to his uh, YouTube account and his uh, GitHub account. Uh, but yeah, great little great little device. And uh, what else are we working on? whole bunch of other stuff always and just put this together so I'm just gonna give you a taster of it <laughs> it's a uh, I back engineered a design that was posted on a forum um, and he get, there was enough information there to create it this by a Russian who uh, I hope's all right because he, he hasn't actually posted in about a year but yeah this thing is mad so it's like he created this as a stupidly small Archie FX. Absolutely nuts. Probably can't hear the speakers. That's my little, uh, my hacker man stealing PCBs. <laughs> Which is the logo I'm going to use if I steal people's stuff. Uh, nothing you can do about it. You post it on the forums. Yeah, great little design. Uh, he had a nice little case for that, but I'm, again, I haven't, uh, haven't really got that far. Anyway, thanks for watching.